hello, fifth year, how are you? I hope you are okay. Well, today is Thursday. This, this is the last. Uh, this is the last day of April. So bye bye April. And next week would be hello May. Yes. Okay. Well, it's sunny and hot. You already know that. Um. Well. So today we are going to check uh, the exam maximizer, page twenty eight. We are going to do a listening activity from page 27 from the exam maximizer. Then we are going to go to pages 44 and 45 from the classbook. And then the homework would be 28 and 29. Yes, from 28, 1 and 2, and from 29, exercise 1. Okay? <coughs> Sorry. Shall we go to um, the activity there? Ah, one thing I want to explain. Do you uh, know the difference between this? Um, who did you talk to yesterday? Who did you talk to you that yesterday? I talked to Mary. So this is the object. You expect an object. Yes? And the other example is this. Who uh, talked to you? You know? Tenés. But Paul. Okay? So it's a subject. Okay? You expect a subject here and here you expect an object. But you know, did you notice, do you notice the, the order? So you have WH. Auxiliary, subject, and verb. And here you have WH plus the verb. Who talks to you, who invites you, okay? In one set, these are two kind of questions. You already know these questions, but uh, here you expect an object, so it could be an object question, yes, object questions. And this is a subject question, because you expect a subject in the answer, and here you expect uh, uh, an object, okay? Is it clear? Okay, um, so the question is about the object and the, uh, the subject, okay? Is it clear? Well, this will appear on page 150, so you have to read page 150 then, okay? This part. Uh, subject and object question, yes? But this is the summary, okay? But read it at home, yes? Okay, so let's go to um, the activity book, page... 20, 20, 20, 28. Yes, are you there? Good. So, um, well, you have the vocabulary. Are you there? Okay. I will show you. Exercise two. Deadening. Starving. Enormous, terrifying, freezing, and tiny. This is exercise two. One I will show you now, in a minute. Yes, okay. Um, then you have uh, one and two, that's all. Yes, because in this part now, yes, you are going to do um, from 28, one and two, la parte de gramática, you are going to do exercise one and two, and you will have to take into account, yes, this object and subject questions okay so read it first before doing the um the homework okay i will show you the words here yes i will highlight them for you to have to see them better minute. There you are. Yes. Good. You can stop the video. How are you feeling on, uh, how are you going on with everything at home? Yes. Um, with the days uh, staying at home, what happened? How, you, how are you going on with your parents? What about your relationship there at home? Yes, are you okay? Yes, okay. I know some people are enjoying 
uh, the days at home, yes? <laughs> well, good. Um, let's go very quickly to the listening, yes, listening. Put the date, please, put the date on the page, yes, page 27. We are going to do exercises one and two, yes, one and two. Yes, you have to read, remember before doing the listening, you have to read all the questions, yes, so you have a general idea, yes, about uh, what uh, the person is talking about, yes. Um, more or less, you have to try to choose the option, yes, okay, focus on the second time you listen, yes, the first time is for a general idea, but then on the second time you listen, is uh, for you to choose the options, okay? So think about that. At home you can play it twice, yes? Okay, are you ready? Put the date. Today we're talking to Monty Saunders, the author of the new book, Who Would Believe It? This book is about unusual events that sound more like fiction than fact. It's quite an amazing book, Monty. Oh, thank you. I had a lot of fun writing it. I had the idea when I saw a film about how a man managed to survive after a plane crash. I found it fascinating. And it started me thinking about how strong our instinct to survive is. And I began looking for other interesting survival stories. Mm, I think one of my favourites in the book is The Man in the Car. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, I love this one too. It's quite incredible. It was in the northeast of Sweden, and two people just passing on snowmobiles thought they had found an abandoned car buried in the snow. They managed to scrape snow and ice off the windscreen, and to their amazement, they found a man lying on the back seat of the car. He was alive. Later, the man told the police that he'd been there for two months. No, we have already done this. Yes, because I have put, I have written um, in last class uh, plan, yes? Pasar audio listening page 27. So you, you don't have to do this. Uh, today, yes, we have already done this, yes, it's in my plan, yes, and I remembered I had done it, okay, so let's go very quickly to the pages, yes, to the pages, I'm sorry, yes, but I have written it on the previous plan, I was reading that, yes, um, well, pages 44 and 45, yes, pages 44 and 45, yes, put the date on the two pages, are you there? Okay, good, there we are, yes, the date, and there you have grammar reference, we are going to go to 150, 150, but then they are the two pages, yes, okay, we are going to go to 150, yes, all right. Okay, are you there in one page, uh, one fifty, page one hundred and fifty? Okay, so you have uh, the the words, yes, time phrases. You have after, afterwards, yes. Remember, oh, we, have, we have already done this, okay? Because you will see in the photo, but we have already done that, okay? Well. Um, did you understand this? Who did you talk to yesterday? I talked to Mary. You expect an object. That's why they are called object questions. And um, this is a subject question because you use the WH plus the verb. Who talked to you, Paul McCartney? And you wait. Um, the answer is a subject. Okay. This is on page 150 in the part of object and subject sentences. Okay. Uh, I want you to go there and you will have examples and I want you to highlight on page 150 all the uh, the time phrases and then you have one uh, you have subject and object questions on page 150 yes okay so you have after afterwards yes after you know it's a preposition so whenever you use after you will have an ing um, well, for example, after meeting my friends, I went to sleep. Yes, for example. Yes, is it clear? And then you have after I had, after, and you remember, 
remember you have it's introduced a uh, past perfect after I have done my homework yes I went to have dinner or I had dinner yes okay when while yes okay while I was doing while I was doing yes past continuous was I I was doing my homework my mother was uh, making dinner or was cooking dinner yes uh, when when I saw uh, that boy in the window or through the window when I saw that boy through the window I was scared or I was scared or when I saw that man through the window I immediately called the police okay then you have during why when us yes as I was cooking my mother was having uh, mate in the terrace yes okay um, then you have during yes um, during my journey to Mexico yes many things happened yes I'm sure you already know how to use all of them yes okay we won we we talked watch out we talked during three hours you can say that we talked for three hours okay as soon as we arrived yes at the airport I saw my best friend waiting for me yes you already know that but the time by the time um, I finished my homework yes my mother cooked dinner yes I expect your room uh, to be tidy by the time I get home yes by the time I arrived home my sister was there waiting for me yes by the time um, I finish this class yes uh, I will cook lunch okay well um, also yes okay and then you have subject and object question I have already explained read it at home yes but you already know all these time time phrases okay shall we go to uh, 44 and 45 yes okay remember I will dictate the the answers but you at home will do the exercises pause the video and then listen to the answer because this is the technique all right yes is it clear I will sit now yes okay number one uh, you have to read the story and summarize it in one sentence okay witnesses you know what are what witnesses are testigos saw a man drive a car into a lake and get out unharmed yes what is un unharmed yes okay sin, sin lesiones okay no estaba herido not hurt okay number two one c 2F, 3A, 4B, 5A, 6D. Okay? Good. Okay, well, now you will have to practice subject and object uh, questions. Yes? Okay? 3. 1. Subject. 2. Object. 3. Do not use. Okay? 1. Subject. Two object, three do not use. Four subject, one and three object, two, four, five and six. Okay, exercise five. Exercise five. Did the accident happen? Did the accident happen? Did the accident happen? Two cost. Cost. Yes. Three, did the pilot do, pilot do? Four, did he choose? Five, happened? Six, rescued. Okay, exercise six you don't have to do, okay? You have to do only one, two, three, yes, four and five, not six, okay? Good. Uh, let's go to for page 45, uh, the reading part. One, you have to do one, two, and three. 
Okay? All right, number one. At the age of 17, Hassim competed for two years while he was riding in an important race, had to spend a long time in hospital. He is completely better now. He has taken up riding. I can't wait to compete, he said. Okay? Number two. Yes, okay. One, Hassan competed while he was riding. Is completely better now. Can't wait to. Two, has taken up. What is take up? Start. Well done, riding. Uh, at the age of number three, spend time. Is completely better. Can't wait to. Number four, why? A long time. Five, to compete. Three, are you there? So in exercise three, I want you to really pay attention because you have to complete the sentence, the second sentence, so that it has a similar meaning to the first sentence using the word given in bold. Yes? Okay? You must use between two yes, and five words, including the word given in bold. There are some extra clues to help you. Okay? Number one. Pay attention here. It says, we need a verb with a similar meaning to manage to, that is followed by in. Te da pistas, eh? Cruise. We need to look at the form of the verb after in to. He, mm -mm -mm, getting out of the car. He, all right. The word is succeeded in. Ojo, a veces, sometimes it happens that you know which the word is, which the verb is in this case, but you forget to conjugate the verb. And it, it must be in the past. He succeeded in getting out of the car. He could do it. Yes, so the word is succeed in, but you have to conjugate. Succeed it in. Okay? Number two. Are you there? Yes? Well, number one, because number the zero was the example. It is interesting for us to visit new countries. Clue, lete la, la pista. We need to change the form of interested so it has a passive sentence. So you know this sentence mu must be um, there. Yes, okay, number one. Yes, okay. And it's in passive voice. Yes, okay. We need to change the form of interested so it has a passive yes sense. Yes, we are. What is there? Yes. And it says, I can't decide where to go on holiday. We are interested in. Yes, well done. Esta era fácil, eh? Interested in. Yes, we are interested in. Yes, okay. Good. Y es una voz pasiva. Acuérdate que la voz pasiva formamos con am, are, o el verbo to be, mejor dicho, to be, plus past participle. Yes, en este caso, to be in present. Yes, okay. Number two, tenemos la palabrita mind. Yes, okay. I can't decide where to go on holiday. Clue. We need to find an expression that means to decide. Which is a phrasal verb that means decide. Do you know? Y que lleva la palabra mind. Do you, do you know? Do you remember? Okay. I can't make up my mind I can't make up my mind yes I can't make up my mind where to go decide yes make up your mind yes we have to leave will you stay with him or not okay number three you have four it's a fácil eh? super fácil uh, we can't wait to see you again clue we need to use a phrase of it with the meaning with the meaning of can't wait to do something. And I give you another clue. Clue. It is at the end of letters most of the time. Yes? Okay, wait. Uh, we are looking forward to. Looking forward to plus ing. We are looking forward to seeing. Okay, number four. We couldn't take the boat because of the storm. Clue. Tenés la palabrita because I can't. We need an expression that means because. Yes? Okay. 
we need an expression that it meets because we couldn't take the vote on account of on account of because yeah I couldn't come to the club to the classes on account of my illness yes it means because yes okay if I yes okay okay because you couldn't hand in uh, the paper on the account of your bad connectivity yes okay so you have on account of okay so let's go to number five yes Peter do you want to stay in bed I don't know in bed no. do you want to stay in a hotel or go camping the teacher wants to stay in bed yes we need an expression that has the idea of want or prefer Ethan is rather. This is very easy. This is very easy. They say, I'd rather go. Would you rather go? Would you rather stay? Yes. Ienesa Eva, would you rather stay? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, number six. Are you there? Okay. You should make the most of your time in Paris. We need an expression that means to make the most of something. You should, you should, esta la palabra advantage, okay, take advantage of, you should take advantage of your time, yes, okay, is it clear? Number seven, seven, in my opinion, it was a foolish thing to do at his age. We need to think of an expression that is a way of giving an opinion, as far as as I am concerned, well done, as far as I am concerned, concerned, yes, as far as I am concerned, it was a foolish thing to do. As far as I am concerned, yes, you're not studying enough, okay? Good. Uh, exercise eight, the last one, okay? Uh, she climbed the cliff by herself without any help. So, the clue. We need an expression that means by herself. Yes, without any help. I did my exercises, the exercise of maths, without any help, on my own. Okay? She climbed the cliff all on her own, on your own, on his own. Yeah, it means alone without any help by herself okay by himself by myself okay well this is the key first of all you have to read the sentence understand the sent understand the sentence say with the keywords because in this exercise you are you don't always have a key yes a clue yes but you have the keywords there and you need to think about an expression a grammar yes okay a phrase ever yes all right well that is all for today yes okay um see you next class yes okay um be prepared because next class we are going to learn how to make how to write a report yes because we have articles reports yes so i hope you enjoy your weekend because you don't have a lot of homework there Yes, and remember uh, the listening is done. Yes, it was done last class. Okay, well, see you next class. Bye bye, fifth year.